Well, hello there and welcome to the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour, where it's medal time from Espino, Portugal. <laughs> Welcome to Portugal. We are just 20 kilometers south of Porto, the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour. It's medal time. The race for bronze is on here. Well, it's Louis Lett here from Espino, and I have the pleasure to talk you through this game here from Praia de Bay. A beautiful beach and a windy coastline of Espino. It's Latvia versus Chile for a bronze medal and 640 world ranking points. Now two teams who have played a very good level all week long. The double Olympian Martins Plavins on your screen wearing the number one jersey. Now playing his volleyball with Edgar's Tox, but they're up against the Chilean cousins, the Grimolts of Marco and Esteban, who have had a very, very good season on the world tour. This is their third final four after winning in Sydney and in Doha back in winter time. The breeze evident again as it has been all week long. It's sunny, it's beautiful out here in Espino, but there's a massive side wind across the corner, a headwind from one end, a tailwind from the other, which makes it really difficult. There is a clear good and bad end out there today left hand side of your screen is the good end you'll see players jump serving into that breeze as we have a look at the Grimalt cousins from Chile they've been playing together now for 11 years they've only ever played beach volleyball together where for Latvia this is a fairly new pairing their second season together their first event in 2018 in the Hague they actually won gold in the forced up it's been a very good recipe for Latvia as it's now their number one team Martins Plavins and Edgar's Tops overtaking the famous Samoilovs and Smedits. Well, the name of the game is Olympic Ranking Points. The top 15 on June the 14th next year will be going to Tokyo. The test event next week in Japan. Well, as always, the referees announced first for this one. Drago Peslak from Croatia will be on the stand. A proud moment for Sergio Pereira from Portugal. Big cheers for the local referee. It's time to personally meet the players now. And for Martins, Plavins, 34 years old from Riga, 6-3. Now 17 seasons on the World Tour. He's played one Olympics with Alexander Samoilovs in 2008. And he took a bronze medal in 2012 with Janis Smedins. His partner, Edgar Tox from Madonna, 6-5, the blocker, whose best finish was that first in The Hague last year. Well, their opponents from Chile have been around for nine seasons now. And Marco Grimot, the blocker of the pairing from Santiago, six foot five. Best finish three times. A winner on the World Tour. No surprises. It's the same amount of wins for Esteban Grimot on the World Tour. These two having only played together from Chile. It's a close semi final both teams. Alison Alvaro coming past Latvia. Some nostalgic feelings around Espino as Alison returns to a final here today. Against Andre and George from Brazil. They came past the Grimolts. And what was a fascinating contest. The Grimolts had a five-point lead in that semi-final before a referee decision went against the Grimolts. Well, that's what they thought. 
And then all of a sudden from there, a red card popped out because of their reaction. And they're always up against it from there. And it was their own doing, really, at times. They had control of the game. But Esteban Grimmel will get us underway for this bronze medal match in Windy Espina. Overhand defense has to come over this time. Oh, that's a little bit of magic from Marco Grimmel, but swatted straight down. We're looking for a net touch here, though. The Grimmelts. Plavin's pleading innocent again. High fives all round. But once again, the Chileans going straight to the referee. Plavin's to serve, who post London. 2012, lost his partner in Yanis Medins, who then teamed up with Alex Samoylovs. That bronze medal at London was a phenomenal performance for Latvia, and it really did set the sport alight in their country. But that's a monster block early on for Marco Grimoltz. Was there any hands on this one? Maybe. Good passing from Tox, who's been targeted early on. That one just sneaks the sideline. Pairing that have had two medals so far on the FIVB World Tour since playing together 23 times. That's not a bad return. The Grimmelts, five medals in 68 competitions over a nine year span, but those three wins of theirs have all come in the last year for the Grimmelts. Marco Grimmelt running that one to the pin, slightly wide, trying to run the blocker around a little bit. this head to head they've met just once in Moscow last year the Grimmelts winning that game Toc, we saw him go to the line last time out now we see him crush one to the end Flavins to serve again. Gold medalist at the Under-21 World Championships back in 2005 in Rio with some oil offs. He went on to play at the Olympic Games in Beijing with the Lion King. You just see how much the wind is affecting the game. The Grimmel's keeping the ball fairly low out there. The breeze really evident as well. Three side outs in a row, Eckers Tox, great first end for him. Especially at the bad end as well, Breeze behind. They've gone straight after. Eckers Tox, have Chile. The gold medal match today will be something very special. It's Brazil versus Brazil once again. But Alisson, after a year in... The final four, Wilderness is back, and so is Tox with another Alisson-like block. Jumping into the angle really late, showing it as being open, and then closing it away from the Grimmelts. Two in a row. Problems now sneaking in for Grimmelt Grimmelt. Latvia who came past Evandro Bruno in the quarterfinal. It was a big, big game on the outside courts last night against two former world champions and the reigning Olympic champion, Bruno. Plavitz from the inside. They've changed their service target. They're trying to make nice Tox do Plavins. the setting here, but Plavins is smooth, cool, and calm. Keeping high over the line. Something that a lot of teams do against the Grimmels is try and go over the blocker. Marco Grimmel, that's tight, but it's really well executed. Bodies facing to the line and really working it back cross court. Third place last year, Julius Toller, Clemens Wickler. We all know about that German team post-World Championships. Took a second, defeated the Vikings who aren't here 
this week there in Japan already training for the four star next week, which some teams have seen as quite an important part of the fixture list this year, going out to Japan to try and prepare for the Olympic Games next year in Tokyo. Left side work, chipping to the line, Esteban Grimm not showing it, but also just oozing a bit of class. Just two points in this one. Brown Mewson also not here this week after taking a second to the Vikings last week in Gestad. It's been a busy few weeks with the World Championships as well as Grimmel chips back to the sideline. Latvian fans can be heard everywhere they support on the World Tour. Again, Tosh, Bang's angle, great dig from Esteban Grimmel. On two, two good digs from Grimmel, but Lavin's just getting the ball on the net at the earliest possible stage, something we see all the time now. How quickly can you put that ball in the sand? Past winners of this competition for Espino that held 12 in a row between 95 and 2007, and they had a 10-year break from the World Tour before coming back in 2017. No block, they're backing the fact that Marco will hit the defender, he certainly does as there's two of them. Oh, the jump lob bump. Maybe that's just been invented, but it doesn't matter! Eckers talks! Humongous! The crowd come alive in Espino. Former winners here, Emmanuel Ricardo, 2007. Julius Brink has won this one twice as well. Emmanuel Ricardo won it three times as a pairing. Emmanuel has won it four times overall. There's a chance, top speed in this time. There's lots of time left in this game. One thing we know about the wind is Teams will change ends and have a favorable seven points at a time. So there can be big swings out there for these teams. Off the hands, Tox just looking for the Grimolds again. Tox is just kicking off here as the Grimolds are just looking for decisions all the time. Leading innocence is Eckers Tox. This is going to be a much better view. Doesn't look as if there was a touch from Tox. Maybe Chile thinking the whole world's against them after the decisions in the semi-final round, but Esteban Grimov gets back to action. Very nice swing from him. This year. Been a good one for the Grimmelts, that goal in Sydney. Backed up with a finals win against Phil Dalhauser and Nick Lucena from the USA in Doha. Made a lot of people take note again of Chile, but since then, it's a 37th place finish. They didn't get out of the pools in the World Championships. And they're struggling here with another monster block. The outside hand of Edgar's Tox penetrating, pressing around the ball. He's going late, he's out the vision, and then he's really going after his line. Technical timeouts come around here in Espino. Latvia, certainly in charge. Edgar's talks. So far, so good. Sided out well. Made a couple of monster blocks. That never goes amiss. Spino started out as a small fishing port, but now is a tourist destination for many. They're loving their beach volleyball here. 
Marvin's again serving. Grimaud shot down again. Teeing him up, Plavin serving to the inside. Esteban Grimaud not getting out. There's not too many places he can hit that ball. Tox is waiting. Another opportunity, back set on the cut, short just in. Much needed side out from Grimaud Grimaud. Lavia, he took a ninth starting in the qualifying start. A ninth in the World Championships as well, which was a good run for them. Fifth in Warsaw, a ninth in Ostrava, both four stars, and also Jing Jiang as well. They've been waiting for their chance to make another final four. They've been flirting with it, that's for sure. And they don't want to miss their opportunity to establish more world ranking points towards Tokyo 2020. Esteban Grimov fires to the perimeter of four. There's good speed, it's a good arm, smooth. There was some frustrations earlier on in the semi-final against Alisson and Alvaro. They weren't happy with each other, but this is a much more combined performance from Lavia. From the inside again, more back setting in this breeze, sitting there, waiting for it. Plavis. Second opportunity from the outside, chipping around. Tox is really alive on two, seen really early. Bump set quick to the wing. This rally has a little bit of everything. And then Plavin's off the body, wrist away, guides it to the sideline. Here we go. Great rally. 17-10. Chile have had to take a rest here. Understandably so, because Martins, Plavins, Edgar's Tox have been an absolute force out here. Fly. That cross the body swing to the line. So good from Edgar's Tox. Grimaltz struggling to find a way through. For Martins Blavins, that 2008 Beijing Olympics with Alexander Samoylovs, they were the 13th seed. They actually won their game in the pool play against the gold medal winners Phil Dalhauser and Todd Rogers. That's an incredible performance at that Olympics because they were so good. But so is Edgar's Tox. He's watching everything. He's adjusting his line in the block. Watching the approach of the spiker, changing his line depending on what he sees. Eight point game now, Grimold, Grimold, they're struggling. Better, back set from both sides, proving it's not really a side wind out there, it's just Chile's way of trying to move the blocker around at times. Service is long and one point could explain the entire set. That would probably be it for Chile. Back on Esther Mangle. Opportunity for Tox, who's blocked really nicely. Tomahawk, nowhere to be seen. A rare moment of joy for the Grimald Cousins. Jump serving. Esteban Grimald needing nothing short of really a miracle. Here, there's one! Oh, 
my days, Marco Grimal. Just delays his timing. Swats it straight back down. This is better from Chile. They're serving with more pressure. And now it's Latvia who are being asked questions because they're out of system. But Plavin's again parking on the line, doing a great job of it, working back to the angle. There's a net touch this time against Esmar Grimal, who isn't renowned for his blocking within this game, more defending and siding out on the left side. First set point for Latvia. Esteban Grimmel having to side out again. Touch off the block from the line judge, but out from the referee. That seals the opening set. Latvia have bounced back from losing the semi-final to Alisson and Alvaro earlier on to take the first set here in Espino. One step closer to the bronze medal, what would be their third medal as a pairing. There's the confirmation. There's still time for the Grimholtz, but they're running out point by point. Good start for Latvia, double Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, Martins Blavins. What was an incredible game against the Netherlands, Richard Shaw and Ryan De Numbado. Back at London 2012. Chile. Well, they played at Rio 2016. Martin Clavins didn't, nor did Edgar's Tox. Tox looking for his first Olympic Games. But for Chile at 19 at Rio 2016. And on this form now, they're looking like they're going to go better at Tokyo should they qualify. Constantly in and around the mix. But that World Championship result of a 37 wasn't very remote ish top 10 we didn't make the top 10 last week either in Gestad, so it's a good return to form for them no matter what here but they side out the opening ball Talks, hats off! Okay, game off. If you think about the Grimalds over the last five minutes or so, it's two huge blocks for Marco Grimald. Finding momentum. Talks again, the target from the inside. Chops back angle. Really quick work from Edgar's Tox. Facing really square on, holds the defender that way. And then just drop it on the angle. Chasing down again. Opportunity for Plavins. Reactions off the foot of Mark Edwin but That's a good swing into the breeze. Really aggressive from Plavins. He since really beginning his career has played with Samoilovs, Smedins. He won in Stary Blanki with Anish Smedins in 2012. That's a tour stop that was pretty iconic for a time. Alexander Solidevs as well was a partner for a while. Carl Drexler. Now it's all about Edgar's Tox. Although. Smoilovs and Plavins did team up again at the end of last year to play P1440. Kerry Walsh Jennings' is brand in San Jose and took a win out there. Back to business here, though. Back set again for the Grimolts. 
Whoa, nice angle, Esteban Grimald. Just snaps it straight back across the face of the court. There you go. Chile. Taking the first end here. There's a long way left in this one. That's a shrewd swing from Dodge. If you hit the perimeter of court, nobody likes playing defense overhand. It's not the most comfortable thing to do in the world. Powerful blow as well. It's been impressive so far, Eggers Tox. Marco Grimal, right side, knuckling over the top. They love running the ball around. Grimal, slightly wider. Loves going to the pin, working off the hands, going over the top of the hands as well. Plavins, two looks at the court, chipping angle, it's been seen, the cut shot really early from Esteban Grimald, another opportunity this time from the left for Plavins, almost just packs it away from the body, body faces straight, arm works away from the body, no wonder that scoring for Plavins, shows one thing, just decides to go the other way, keeps trading. More width from Chile, more work off the block. It's the same tactic. Go over, go around, work off the outside hand. Tox again, firing high. Chance one hand. That's very casual from Plavins and a swap from Marco Grimal. What even is this anymore? Who knows? Casual bits of play. Plavins showing a bit of class and Marco Grimal going full throttle with him. And they go through the hands. Clavins isn't Marco having much to do defensively here. Clavins and Tox. Great start to this one, but this set slightly tricky. Lavia currently eighth on the Olympic rankings list at the moment. Grimal Cousins, 13th. Really keeping an eye on. The Olympic rankings, this is the Latvian side. Currently in charge, another one sharp on the angle from Blavin. Another point though for Chile. One of them Smedin is currently still at 11th in the world for Latvia, although they'll find themselves in the qualifier from now on because their results haven't been as good as they normally are. Brown Mewson also in the qualifier next week as well. Three times! <laughs> Edgar's Tox. They're just not allowing Chile to get away with this. Chile 13th in world rankings as well. Brown Tox tied actually with exactly the same amount of points. So the winner of this game We'll go above Perisic Schweiner as well, the team from the Czech Republic who took a second in the Czech Republic in Ostrava. Super spike to the line, world rankings aside. The width of the plays make it difficult for Koch to make his line on the spike. There's always going to be room to smuggle the ball through, but that wasn't even a smuggle, that was Full throttle, absolute full force. Plavitz, change of tactic on the serving, sort of working at the moment, but it's another side out from Martins Plavitz. He just gives a little lingering look to Tox to say, set me a little bit tighter, please.
Esteban Grimault. How many times did we see that in the opener? Another monster block from Edgar's Tox. This time going late again on Esteban Grimault. Playing with the vision of the spiker. Solo popping up again to the angle. It's a controlled swing to the line, and Plavins is waiting. The lateness of the blocking is working out for Latvia. It's like Anders Mole at times. Staying low underneath the vision of the spiker, giving no clues about what line they're blocking. Janis Medins and Alexander Shmoilov do something very similar, but for Tox, He's 6'5", he's slightly bigger. Great reactions, chipping to the line, almost just charming, charming it off. Again, Plavins is really quick to jump down the throat of Edgar's Tox. Tox, who played with Reinhard Finsters for a while, and Tom Schmedins, the brother of Janis Schmedins. Also, Alex Smolov's brothers playing as well on the World Tour at the moment. No net touch, more frustration for Marco Grimmel because he decided to break, but the set was tight. Potentially frustrated that he didn't stay up and try and get his paws on that one. Technical timeout, Latvia back in charge here. The wind is still blowing here in Espino. here. The weather conditions over the past few days has just been crazy at times. We've seen fog, rain, high winds blowing across the courts. But it is slightly more sheltered due to the big grandstand for the players. So although you can see the flags doing all sorts up there, it's a little bit easier for them in that centre court. But it's certainly gusting as well down there. Fast play. Back set once again. They know exactly what's going on here, Latvia. They know that the back set swinging to the line is what they're doing. What Chile are doing. There's a let here somewhere. It's gone down on his ankle. He looks in some pain. Let's hope he's okay. This isn't ideal for Martin Flavins. Looks seriously painful, doesn't it? On the landing, you can see the ankle twist over the outside of the foot. There's certainly going to be a medical timeout here from Latvia. You could see it on the picture. Definite twist of the ankle. Now Edgar's Tox is down there playing physiotherapist. Let's hope he knows what he's doing. Great dig from Plavins. He's really reading the game well back there. It's just on the landing. The referee did so well to see it early and call an end to the point because the ball was still alive. Although, if there's one thing we have learned in the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour over the past 10 seasons or so, that Martins Clavins is a battler and he will keep battling all day long. It's being taped up. Is this going to be the end of the afternoon? Because if Clavins is injured, beach volleyball isn't a sport where you can go and sub on 
Yanis Medin or Alexander Samoylovs from Latvia. It's game over. If you're injured, the team are done. No subs. Although, it's another nasty twist, isn't it? No wonder he's in so much pain. Round of applause for Plavins. It'd be interesting to know what was being said down there. Looks like it's being taped up. It looks sturdy. The Latvian fans want their main man to continue here, that's for sure. I think beach volleyball on the whole wants Martins Plavins to get up and finish the job that he started so well today. Sided out with ease. He's made some great defensive plays as well. And you'd think that the Grimmots would also not want to win a bronze medal due to a forfeit. Deep breaths, but he's in some pain. A technical supervisor down there as well, the referee delegate. Lots of people looking on closely. The World Tour moves on next week to Tokyo. Four-star event in preparation for the Olympic Games, but then it's Beach Majors time. One of the biggest events of the year and one of the biggest parties too. The Vienna Beach Majors run by Red Bull. Their team will be there in force for what should be another epic occasion for beach volleyball in general. The big question at the moment is whether Martins Plavins will get back up again and try and play. No matter what happens, it's going to be difficult anyway. You'd think the Grimots are now going to put every single serve on Plavins, potentially to his outside to make him have to stress that left ankle. Could be a painful half an hour or so if Plavins decides to carry on. But he will be thinking in his own head about the bigger vision of this team. A medal would be a great achievement for them. But the difference between third and fourth is only 80 ranking points and he will want to be fit again as soon as possible because as a team, they're gaining really, really good form. especially after missing Rio 2016. Tokyo 2020 will be a big, big thing. Plavins and Tox. So far, looks as if Flavins wants to play on. What an absolute hero. Questions now is how's he gonna move in defense? How's he going to jump as well? Maybe he's just gonna see how it goes. He walking. Gingerly, that's for sure. Doesn't know what end he's going to, Martins Blavins. Fantastic, though, that he's up, ready to go again. The 
crowd behind their man as well, who's in so much pain. You have to feel for him. But the fight goes on for Latvia. Some fans can't believe what they're watching. He's not going to play on, is he? It looks as if he's still undecided, really. A timeout following the medical timeout for Plavins as he just assesses the situation. How much movement has he actually got in his ankle? It's tough for Eggers Tox as well because he has to try and keep his rhythm, stay warm, and stay mentally focused throughout this stage. For the Grimolds, you'd wonder what they're thinking. Maybe they're coming up with a game plan to frustrate Plavins even more. Well, he's back. And he's running out of tools to use here, Martins Plavins. It's now or never. And if he can hobble away to a victory here, it would be some achievement for Plavins. Maybe not quite as a big achievement as an Olympic bronze medal, but maybe up there with those big achievements. Serving deep, Plavins keep an eye on him, playing defense here for Latvia. Goes off the wrong way, over the top. 11 all. So now, the Grimolts, who are you gonna serve to? Esteban Grimolt with the wind towards him, serves towards Plavins, pops that straight up. How's he gonna be jumping here, Martins Plavins? Not so bad, but he doesn't look comfortable at all. And therefore, still making digs though. Plavins <laughs> makes a point. And then just carries on limping. Fair play, he sees it early. The turn in the shoulders from Esteban Grimmel. Gets underneath it. Gets up again. Expect to see a lot of two ball work from Latvia as well. Plavins will be trying to get Enkis Tox on that net. Oh, off the chest! What a serve that is from Tox. Somehow it's still alive. Tox takes the free ball, bumps set off one foot from Plavins. Tox gets one through the block. Plavins playing smart there, just putting his weight on the closest foot to the net, which is where the weight should be when you're setting the ball anyway. As long as he's balanced, he'll be okay through that. Another bit. And a knuckle to the line, off the hands, not this time from Plavins. Putting in a shift, that's for sure, isn't he? Medical timeout used, timeout as well, on two. This is what we were talking about, they're going to have to use it. Pat on the back from Edgar's Tox as Plavins puts him in. Can Plavins on one foot steer home the bronze here? Straight down the middle, Marco Grimalt, the target. Tox is going to try and get involved in the block. More digs from Plavins on two! Twisted ankle! Doesn't matter, does it? Defence isn't just about your feet, it's about your eyes. Reading the game. It looks as if Chile have called the timeout this time. And it's Chile after that break who have actually lost their momentum. Well, well, well. Always expect the unexpected on the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour. Who knows what's coming next? It's still a long way back for Chile, but. They have a clear opportunity here to come back and win this one in three. 
Glavin's always talking. You just have to hope that this injury doesn't keep him out for too long, but a medal will be good for the team. The points will be good for the team going forward. That's a no-brainer. Certainly being an event, especially on men's side, where we've seen the ball control teams prosper really well. Inside set from Esteban Grimold finds Marco Grimold this time. It's one of the only times we haven't seen Marco Grimold try and run that wider ball to the stick. The antenna. Two point game. Chile. Need points from the service line. Blocks or defensive plays. Plavin's out of system. It's come over on two. It looks like it could be Chile back to one here. Great swing. Marco Grimm on left side. Just shapes it away. Slides it. Maybe Plavin's his pass is where it starts to falter. No. Great passing. He's not at full height. But it's OK, because his brain is working just fine. He's a chance to go on two. No one's expecting that. He's been hobbling around for the last 20 minutes. You'd feel that if Latvia, though, are going to win this game, they'll do it in this set. Over the top, Plavins is moving around like he didn't even twist his ankle moments ago. It's almost gone again, though. He's moving everywhere to the line, seeing everything in defense. The bump cutty on the reverse. Oh, says my bad. The crowd asking questions of what they're seeing at times here. Reverse bump cutty. Well, wide. Plavins trots in, hammers angle, finds one. Marco Grimmel goes with the feet, and Esteban gives him a look that maybe suggests that he should have gone with the hands. What a game. The drama. At times, it looks as if Plavins can't carry on. The crowd's still in disbelief. But then when it comes to digging the ball, he's all over the place, Plavins. Goes on the angle, makes another dig, and it's gone again. One point game. Usually the coaching staff of this Latvian team. Latvian program led by Samoilovs as well. You'd be very worried about what you're seeing from Martin Plavins here. He's in extreme discomfort. But again, his head is fine. This time, just chops angle. Has to go to the floor. He gets back up really quickly. Still a two-point game here for bronze. Chile, backs against the wall here. Good serving from Tox. Maybe he could make a block here as well. No. Smooth from Grimald because again he's facing a little bit one way. His wrist works away from the body. The thumb goes down. He finds a side. Line. On two, Tox again. Chases on for Edgar's Tox. He gets the ball because he wants to try and take the pressure off of Plavins. Now it's anyone's game at the net, but he's so high. 6 5. Edgar's Tox. Two point game again. Plavins and Tox pulling together when they need to the most to keep a two point lead.
surf, just wide open. Calmness from Megas Tox turns straight towards Martin Flavins. It? It's okay. No problem. Flavins. Accelerated out since the injury. Can't remember. Clavin's missing one at school. Again, crushing angle. Good feet inside the ball. The approach is strong. Latvia and their fans just living the dream here. They're in the sun in Portugal. Latvia have two match points for a bronze medal. Esteban Grimald, the target. From the inside, Chile need this one. No, Plavins is there again. Of course he is, because he's been there all day, whether his foot hurts or not. Latvia have pulled through adversity in to win the bronze medal. Plavins, who rolled his ankle 10 minutes ago, battled through, led by Edgar's Tox as well. It's unfortunate for the Grimolds, but it's a brave performance from Latvia. It's a brave performance from the Olympic bronze medalist Martins Plavins. Latvian fans are on their feet. Portuguese fans are on their feet. And Chilean fans also applauding the great Martins Plavins. But what a game for Edgar Stocks as well. They take the 640 world ranking points. It's a good week in the office for Latvia. They're growing as a team. And they can be so happy with the way that they battled through that second set. The 12 seeds, Martins Plavins and Edgar's Tox take the bronze here from Espino. You'd imagine that Martins Plavins will not be moving for a moment or two in the dugout. That's how the point in the game was finished. Plavins working away from the body again so nicely. Let's just hope Plavins is not out for too long. The crowd. That's what it's all about. Well, after a ninth last week in Gestad, ninth at the World Champs. Third medal for this team in 23 events. The confirmation is there on your screen. Plavins and Tox from Latvia seal the bronze medal here in Portugal. As we look to go down court side to hear from our bronze medalists. Pablo inside a euro now. What? Pablo inside a euro now. I no comprend it, so? Pablo inside a euro ah, now. He, he is a hero, yeah. He, he's like managing uh, from 11 10 with that kind of injury, with the pain in the leg. Thank you for support. We needed that very much in the second set, but we came back and win the game. Thanks to my partner. He's like sacrificing everything. He How is the injury? How is the injury? What? How is the injury? We don't know. You're gonna see now the doctor and uh, he spreads his ankle, so we will see. Hopefully it's nothing serious. It was a special victory. Yeah, of course. We have now full complex of the medals in the World Tour, so... But we won a goal, but Alisson and uh, with, um, Alvaro played pretty good. And we didn't manage to win the first set, but we will get bronze, so we are happy with that. Is your best rating uh, in this year? Yeah, for sure. The medal this year is the best result. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, very happy and proud, Eggers Talks, and so they should be. They didn't have that all their own way, but they really did have to fight for it after that injury at 11.10 for Martins Plavins. Maybe there's a smile that's going to creep onto his face at some time as well. They have the full complement of medals now. Have a very fan watch you that gold, the moment still moment their best result as a team in The Hague in January last please. year, but it's Thank about you. more than medals, it's about the world ranking points. Like, uh, as we have a look at like some highlights, Latvia. Martins Plavins can be 
so happy with their week's work here. Teamwork making the dream work for Latvia. Some great shots. As we have a look at the match statistics. 56 attacks to 52. More errors from Chile. Blocks as well. But the main stat really is that it was one way traffic in the first set. And Latvia have taken the bronze. But who will take gold? It's Brazil versus Brazil coming our way very, very soon from Espinho Beach Volleyball World Tour. It's all still yet to come. But from us, from Espinho, it's goodbye for now. And Latvia take the bronze medal home.